Well, it's Farm All Friday, and last Farm All Friday, I went and did an auction preview, and a lot of people have been inquiring about the results of that auction. We're going to find out right now. You're not going to believe some of these prices. All right, we start right off with the Farm All Cub, and I believe this had a 42-inch belly mower on it, maybe 48, but wasn't a big belly mower. This was the what I call the least of the lookers. Um, all his stuff looked great there, but make no mistake, uh, this was mechanically sound, and he seemed like that type of guy that whatever he owned ran to a T and operated well, so whoever got this for $1,100... Definitely got a deal because I got to hear this run and uh, pretty much, you know, operate for what little bit it did in the video. And so uh, somebody bid with confidence got themselves a good little cubby. Then we move right on to the Farm All 656 row crop. And this was clean as a whistle. Uh, you could have ate off this tractor and I would have videoed every bit of it. You know the routine by now, if you've been with the channel a while. But no, seriously, this was clean. Had 15 538s, um, had the fast hitch, but he had the adapter, I guess you call them the, the adapter arms in there. And those arms alone were are worth, you know, three to $400. And uh, boy, did somebody get a whale of a deal on this. I've driven and plowed with a gas 656 and a uh, diesel 656 with the 282 and uh, I actually liked the gas better <laughs> I thought this was the buy of the auction really uh, at $1,800 how can you go wrong a great running farm all 350 fast hitch everything was sound on it um, you know again not exactly a looker but I've never bought paint in my life uh, DuPont tune-ups are absolutely putrid in my eyes when you walk up to the tractor and it's full of nothing but leaks. But this wasn't the case on this machine here at all. Somebody, again, I, I wouldn't say they stole it, but they could definitely flip the tractor this week and make a little bit of money on it. So, goodbye nevertheless. All right, so now we go right over to the Farmall M. Now this M, he did not have sitting outside. And there's another tractor coming up that we're going to talk about real quick. He didn't have that one out either. Could have been tinkering with it. Don't know. Um, but it, it just at that point in time was not sitting outside. I did get to see this tractor run um, and hear it run, watch him operate it. Didn't have anything, no bells, no whistles. Came pretty basic with the draw bar and a PTO. Um, and this tractor sold for just a little bit over $2,100. Um, and, and it kind of, I guess, surprised me that it outsold the three fifty. dollars All right, so we move right on to another tractor. This the other tractor he did not have outside but was listed and obviously did sell. This is the Oliver 550. It looks like a 1960 model. And uh, I, I, I heard it run. I saw him drive it around. Look like a nice little tractor. If I'm not mistaken, there's a channel Hamiltonville Farm that uh, I he bought one. I don't know if he fully restored it, but I know he tore the gas tank off of it and had it going and growing. But uh, cool little tractor, little utility tractor. Throw a five foot brush hog on it and go to town. Well, and this is really the only tractor I put a bid in on. I gotta come clean. I threw an $1,800 bid on it just to lock my bid in to, to make sure I got the emails and the notifications. And I went and looked at it, and I wasn't winning at that point in time with two hours left. I think it was at $1,900, and I thought, well, I got things to do. I'll get back with it. And I got busy that day, which was Wednesday. And by the time I got back online and looked, it had already sold, and it had sold cheap. This tractor went for... Well, you can see the result right there. 
actually that's not the final sale price but uh, it ended up selling for twenty one hundred dollars now here was a weird situation this was actually a david brown 1412 and they had 1410 stickers on it so whatever the reason was i i can tell you i've had a couple of david browns in my time and the one thing that i have never had problems getting were the the stickers or the emblems <laughs> Just just a couple of other parts. But uh, anyways, this turned out it was a 1412, 91 horsepower, four-cylinder diesel. And uh, like I said before, they don't use a lot of fuel. They run like a top. They start like a top. And uh, this would have been a really good, cheap, horse high, well, not high horsepower tractor, but you know the deal. 91 horsepower for $2,700 diesel. Yeah. Well, last but not least, we got the 1959 T5 Crawler, and I don't have a lot of experience with these. I've never owned one. I've never used one. Of course, I've used a bulldozer, but uh, never one of these, and somebody was making a comment about how parts are hard to find for these, so uh, I'm lucky in my hometown. I've got a good machinist. If I take him the old part nine out of ten times, he can absolutely replicate that part. I get the old part back and the new part, and I put it on there. I'm good to go, but uh, yeah, they, they got a really good deal on this, in my opinion, for $3,700, and they took her home. So I don't know how rare these are, you guys will know, but I want to thank you for helping me hit 23,000 subscribers, man. This, this has been a real fun ride for me. We'll keep the ride alive, keep the drive alive. Boom!